Hello student, welcome to Philo. Hello student, welcome to Philo. Yes, Mikil. My name is Akansha. How may I help you? Yes, please say. Yes, Mikhail, please say what is your question, dear? Hello, Mikhail, please say what is the question? Hello, Mikhail, please say what is your question? Hello, Mikhail. Please say what is your question, dear. Hello. Okay. Okay, so basically, can you send the complete passage? I guess this is not the complete one. There is a one paragraph above it also. The one paragraph above it also. Can you send that also? Yeah. Okay, thank you. So basically, you want me to solve this. What is the main event described in both the passages? Okay, describe the author and the narrative point of view in passage one. See? So, Robert said local bank. Branley Oyo, bank robbers entered the Branley Onion Bank yesterday just before closing time and demanded cash according to eyewitnesses. They left the bank with an undisclosed amount in, okay. Two masked men walked into the bank at about 4.25. They locked the front doors and ordered everyone to the bank to put their hands up. The man approached the teller window and handed over a little note with an empty canvas back. The note ordered the teller to fill the bank with cash. They also explained that the men had weapons and would use them if necessary. According to the eyewitness, none of the customers in the bank at the time actually saw any weapons. However, the bank tellers are trained to follow the demands of robbers in these situations. Rather than endanger anyone in the bank, they complied with the robber's request. One of the masked men stood near the door of the bank and kept watch during the haste. The other kept an eye on the teller as she piled filled the bank with bills from the cash store. Okay. The man the other window was handling an object that looked like a laser wand. After about four minutes, he tapped the stick against the wooden jam. The word, this was apparently a signal to the other robber who reached the canvas back, he took the back of the teller and stood towards the door. Both masked men left the bank without him. Okay, the car sped up in the main street, faced in kitchen, he turned left towards the shopping mall and disappeared from sight. Bank's representatives have not revealed how much cash was taken in the robbery, but they have assured the citizens of Friendly that any search that they have been venue in bank account are not at risk. Please will vow to bring the alleged thieves to justice as quickly as possible. Okay. So at 4.30 on Thursday, I proceeded towards the athletic pitch of Bailey Middle School to pick up my daughter after lacrosse practice on my way down the main street. Then I was three men and one woman wearing black masks. Emerging from the back one of the suspects were holding a canvas bag. All the four appeared to be armed with handguns. The suspects left the bank and ran into an adjacent alley on the north side of the building. Then they climbed in a dark green pickup truck and drove slowly to the end of the alley. At that point, the suspect's vehicle turned into Hamilton Street and proceeded west. Although I was off duty at the time, I executed a U-turn on May Street and pursued the suspects. 
and then exit the section I observed the same pickup trip traveling at high rate of speed in the direction of the shopping mall. But I was unable to continue pursuit with the number of vehicles stopped in the red light. Okay. Okay, so basically, Mikhail, this is passage one. Yeah, let's see. So basically, what is the main event described in both these passages? For passage one, the main event is the bank robbery. Okay. Second passage, I'm not having the second passage, but the main event for Passage 1 is bank robbery. Next one, describe the author and the narrative point of view in passage 1. Okay. So basically, the author is Detective Rachel Jacobs. The author is Re Detective Rachel Jacobs. Who was off duty when the robbery took place? Okay, and what is the narrative point of view? So, the narrative point of view is. Narrator is the author himself. So the the narrator witnessed the narrator witnessed a robbery scene. And also tried to catch him, okay? Catch the culprits. Okay, this is the answer. Okay. Please send the passage to know destiny. Please send passage to Hello Michael, please send passage to Hello, Mikhail. Please send the passage to know. Hello, Mikhail. Please. 
then the pass is true. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Send the passage to know. Click the picture, send it. Yes. Okay. So, did you copy the answers, Michelle? Okay. Yes, what happened, Mikkel? Okay. No more. Yes, Mikel. No more. So you have to send me passage two. Thank you. Yes, please send the play picture. No, I, I didn't receive it yet. Send passage to no. Hello, Mikhail. Send the passage to know. Okay. Yes, Mikhail, can you please send the picture of the passage too so that I can help you out? What? The passage two? Yes, passage two.
Okay, let's see. Let's freeze it, okay? So here, on uh, at approximately 4:30 p.m. on Thursday, April 21, I proceeded towards the athletic field at the Bailey Middle School to pick up my daughter after lacrosse practice, okay? Okay. Sign mask, emergency in the bank. Okay. Okay. So here you can see the suspect left the bank and ran to the Addison alley. On the north side of the building, they climbed a dark green pickup truck, which turned into Ampleton Street and proceeded west. In the earlier one, it proceeded east. Here it is showing, it is showing it is basically turning west. Okay. Okay. It is. Yeah. Next, let's see. So I observed the same pickup truck traveling at a high rate of speed at the direction of the shopping mall, but I was unable to continue pursuit due to number of vehicles. Okay. So basically, you can very well see that. Wait, let's see the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what is the main event described in both these passages? Both these passages describes robbery, okay, bank robbery. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And the basically the author and the narrative point of view in passage two is also quite same. Basically, just the basically you can write that the author again here is Detective Rachel Jacobs. Detective Rachel Jacobs. Okay, and basically, what is narrative point of view? The narrator was basically. Basically, the narrator observed some pickup truck at the high rate of speed. The narrator observed some high some pickup trucks. So some high pickup trucks with high speed, okay? This is what the narrator observed. Telling something wrong has happened in the bank. Okay, Mikhail. Let's see the next one. List three details about the event that are same in both the passages. So you can very well see okay. the pl yes. So you can very well see the timing. Okay. So the three details involve the place, place, date, and time. Are common, okay? And in both. Clear. Okay, Mikhail, clear? Okay, copy. Yes. Next one. Underline three details that in passage two that differ from information reported in passage one. So, Mikhail, you have to read the entire passage two for this and you have to pick out the different points from passage one, okay? Okay. Okay. So basically, if you want, you can basically tell me that uh, basically you can share with me so that I can tell you or else uh, will you will you do it yourself? Okay. <coughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so do you have to? Yes, please say, Mikhail. Can I see just 
Um, a four. Four. Okay. Yes. Sure. Question four. Mm. This one is question four. Place, date, and time are common in both passages. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next one. So question number five. Basically, it says that what are the differences? Okay, of information reported in passage one, in passage two. So you have to read the entire passage two first, and then you have to take out the different points. Okay. 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 So will you do it yourself, or shall I make you do? No problem in that. If you can send me the thing, I will definitely make it for you. Yes. Okay, so you can basically do it by yourself. Question number five. Then, which of the reports is more li likely more reliable? Explain why. So, Mikhail, you have to answer here that which of the reports you can think that is more dependable, or if the policeman or any other people, any other person comes and checks out here, who will get the more information about? The robbery which took place from the passage. Okay, so yeah, the answer will be basically after reading passage one and passage two, you will be getting to see that which passage has more details about the robbery. Okay, that in which car do they go, in which color truck do they go, so all these things. So you have to make out that which one is more reliable and dependable. Okay, Michael. Okay. Yes. Anything else, Michael? The other page. Can I copy the other page? Yes, Mikhail. Can I copy the other page? Yes, here it is. Okay, please. Okay. So this is basically you can say page number question number three. Okay. Okay. Three. Yeah. Copy down. Thank you. Welcome. Let me write down this properly so that you will be able to get to see the answer. Okay, T R U C K S. Okay, and it will be with. Yeah, with. Okay, thank you. Welcome, Mikhail. Anything else? Thank you. Okay, Mikhail. So it was really nice talking to you, Mikhail. If you have any problem, you can definitely connect with me, okay? Okay. Okay, and one more thing to tell you that question number five and question number six, you can write it yourself. If you have any problem, I am there on the platform till one more hour. I am there here, okay? Okay. So if you have any issues, you can definitely reconnect with me. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh, welcome, Mikhail. Please rate the session. Bye bye. Take care. Have a great day. You too. Thank you so much. Please rate the session, Mikhail. Okay, bye. Bye.